Hi, I'm GCC librarian Claire Lobdell. Today, we're going to look at Google Scholar, which is a tool that you can use to find research on a variety of topics and also use to determine the impact that various books and articles have had on their fields of study, also known as academic disciplines. There's this concept in colleges and universities that scholarship is a conversation. Scholarship is another word for research, so the phrase scholarship is a conversation means that when people publish the results of the research they've done, they're responding to earlier research. Sometimes these authors are challenging or disagreeing with previous research. Sometimes they're applying an idea or technique from somewhere else to a new subject. Other times, researchers are using new techniques to confirm the theories of earlier researchers. All of the published literature in a field of study, then, can be seen as one long conversation. Researchers explain their place in the scholarly conversation using in-text citations in the body of an article and bibliographies or works cited pages at the end of an article. These citations show the previous research that has influenced new studies. The more times a particular paper or book has been cited by other researchers, the more influential that paper or book is. A high citation count doesn't automatically mean that a paper or book is better than other similar research, but it does mean that its authors have a loud voice in the scholarly conversation. One of the really nice things about Google Scholar is that it compiles citation counts so that you can see how many times other authors have cited a particular article or book in the bibliographies of their publications. We're going to start at the main Google Scholar page, scholar.google.com. I want to find articles about the effects of global warming on salamander populations, so I'm going to type in the search terms global warming and salamanders. In, addi in addition to searching books and journal articles, Google Scholar also searches patents, which are legal filings that protect the rights of inventors. I'm not interested in those, so I'm going to uncheck the box for patents. One of the first few results is a 2008 article that was published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences entitled, Are We in the Midst of the Sixth Math Mass Extinction? A View from the World of Amphibians. Underneath the listing for this article, we can see the number of times that it has been cited, 1,086. On the right-hand side of the screen, we can see a link to the article in HTML full text. Also under the article, there's a link to related articles. If you click on that, you can see other research that's been published on similar topics. If you click on the title of an article rather than on one of the full text links on the right side of the screen, You'll usually be taken to a page where you're asked to pay to download the article. Please don't ever pay those fees. You can always check to see whether the title you want is available for, through GCC. For example, if I want to read an article about amphibian die-offs that was published in the journal Ecography, I can go to the main GCC library website to the journal locator feature. I type in ecography and I am taken to a list of all the journals that GCC subscribes to with the word ecography in the title along with the date range and the databases that hold them. If you find an article that you really want that isn't available in full text, you can request it from the library and we can find it for you from another library. On the GCC library homepage, click on the interlibrary loan link. This will take you to a form that you can fill out to request an article. You'll include your contact information and information about the article. When you fill out that form and submit it, 
The article will usually be emailed to you within a day or two. In Google Scholar, you can find the advanced search option link by clicking at the upper left hand side of the screen. Now I'm going to limit my search to articles with the words salamander and the phrase climate change in the title of the article published between 2010 and 2018. In contrast to the over 18,000 results we got the first time we searched for salamanders and global warming, there are only 17 results that have this more limited set of criteria. According to Google, results in Scholar are ranked based on the full text of each document, where it was published, who it was written by, as well as how often and how recently it has been cited in other scholarly literature. Thank you very much for viewing this video. If you have questions about this or other topics, please contact reference at gcc.mass.edu.